Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Tomas sharing all my thoughts on fashion, lifestyle, and anything else that comes to mind. I'm here every Wednesday every week, so thank you so much for joining me this week. If I sound a little nasally, it's fully because the allergies here in Toronto are just totally attacking me. As soon as it hits like 17 degrees, like the allergies like attack me. So if I sound a little weird, it's because of that. But I kind of like my like nasally voice. It's kind of giving like mask, you know? For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you seven essential pieces to be wearing for spring 2014. I feel like these pieces are essential to anybody's style. Full disclosure, I fully stole this idea from like another YouTuber. I believe her name is Nizzy. Ness Nissy. I actually kind of like tweaked her idea. So I'm linking her video here and here. Her video was like seven outfits for seven days. So I tweaked it. I love her videos, but she talks in German. So I'm like, I feel like I'm watching like, like if I need a Duolingo help, I would watch her videos. But like, anyways, I love her. I love her style, but yeah. Full credit to her, I guess. I don't know. First essential piece for spring, summer is the oversized button up. So I'm showing you guys a video of me styling this Frankie Shop shirt. Here. I think an oversized button-up is truly the most chic way of just looking very minimal but still put together. I love when like the sleeves of my shirts go past my wrists, the length of the shirt goes past my hips. I just think it looks so like Celine Phoebe Philo vibes and it's just so chic, especially if you throw on like a vest over it, wear it with some like bootcut jeans. I actually have these Peter Doe jeans that are kind of like bootcut and they look so good if I wear them with a shirt and like a pair of boots. This one is from the Frankie shop and it's called the Gus shirt and honestly i would actually recommend the shirt to you guys because i do really love it and i feel like one of my pressure points when realizing if like a luxury item is worth it is if i could wash it and it doesn't get destroyed and i actually wash this shirt in the washer maybe like once every three weeks depending on if i'm wearing it a lot and it's held up really nicely it's just so chic especially like in the summer i'm going to be wearing this shirt with some like denim shorts or some like tailored trousers and then sambas and it's just gonna be such a vibe you guys number one essential would be the oversized button down and honestly if you don't want to spend the money on like the pancake shop you can go to like h&m or even uniqlo and just get like a normal button down and just buy it like two sizes up that way it's like more oversized i feel like if you do want the oversized look sometimes you do kind of just have to like buy two sizes up you know Next, we've got our pleats for the spring summer. So if you guys saw last week's video, I did a whole video on a uniform. And to me, pleats by Isamiyake is such an important part of my style. In the summer seasons, it is prime season to wear my pleats. I have a ton of tops. I especially love this like long sleeve button down. I will say in the summer, this one does get kind of hot just because it is polyester. And I find that like sometimes polyester doesn't breathe the best. And of course, if I'm doing like a night out, I'll wear the vest with nothing under it. And then I also have the V-neck vest, which I absolutely love. I actually have this in the t-shirt version too, but obviously black, you can never go wrong with it. But yeah, honestly, I'll literally wear the like, I have like the light gray set. I'll wear it literally every single day. It's like, I don't even want to come up with other outfits because to me, this is just so like easy breezy and it's so comfortable that like all summer, I will literally just be wearing this. I love pairing my Birkenstock Boston's with the set, I feel like it's a very like city pop vibe and I just like love it, especially like my Marnie loafers, which I'm gonna be showing you later on in the video. But yeah, the pleats for me is just like such, such an essential. I feel like maybe I should be getting some more spring, summer colors versus wearing like all black or like gray all the time. Again, you can throw these into the wash just on cold and light spin and then just hang them to dry. It's just so easy, like I absolutely am obsessed. Next is the slim denim. So I've actually done an unboxing of these Bottega Veneta jeans. I think maybe like a few weeks ago, I can link it here. I think slim denim is what we're gonna be wearing more this summer in terms of denim. Denim is a really, really tricky subject. And even just now, I feel like I'm kind of getting the vibe of what kind of denim looks good on me. You know, I do love a really baggy vibe. If I'm going out to the club, I'll wear my like weekend Astro jeans because that's more like fashion and more fun. But for every day, a slimmer denim, not skinny denim. We are never doing skinny jeans, hopefully never again. A slim denim that tapers in a little bit at the bottom. You can wear them with platform boots. You can wear them with heel boots. You can even wear them with loafers. I absolutely love these. I think they are so, so totally worth the money, even though they're pricey. If you are looking for a little bit of a slimmer denim, I've done actually recommendations. I think like that video with the Bottega, the way I don't remember what I film, like I'll just like talk to the camera and then be like, upload it i'm like i literally have no idea what i'm talking about half the time i recommend the row our legacy acne studios makes really nice slim denim but if you're tall or maybe like five nine five eight like 
slim denim is actually looks really really flattering because you can pair them with platform boots and that will give you like the elevation that you need i mean i'm tall but i'm not like the tallest so one thing about me i'm gonna put on a platform shoe okay so i can be like finally six feet Ugh, the way i was so close to being six feet oh my god it actually drives me absolutely nuts it's all the coffee it's my actually it's my dad's fault the way my dad was giving me coffee at the age of 12 that's Fully the reason I didn't make it to like six feet. I think I'm like 5'10". Literally, I would give out my left arm to be six feet. Anyways. Um, but yeah, what was I talking about? Slim denim. I know like a lot of, especially maybe in like London, UK, they're still doing that baggy denim with the Tims. By this summer, we're, we're going to be more moving away from that just because I think like it's maybe not on trend anymore. Not that I focus on trends too much, but you know, I do like to be like in the know. And with a trend, I always like assess like, does this fit with my wardrobe? You know, I know highlighting your figure can be really scary. Trust me, if you find some really flattering denim, you will find that it will totally transform your summer and spring outfits. The last piece that I'll be talking about is the blazers. If you guys watch my shorts, you know that I wear this vintage Prada blazer from the 90s literally so much. And I absolutely love this, especially because it's nylon and it adds a little bit of like juxtaposition in the fabrics which i totally love but a blazer is a really cool way to kind of add diversity in your outfit so like i just like maybe it's like my personality that i love trolling and i love like angering people i don't know if that's like the right sentence but like i love wearing like a tank top like i'll wear like a chrome hearts tank top which i don't have if i had it like i'd wear like a chrome hearts tank top denim drawers and then a blazer over it like i just think that is so cool it's so like like i'm street style but i'm gonna throw in a blazer over it i'm not talking about wearing like an aritzia jumpsuit and then throwing a blazer over it with like new balances to me no offense that outfit is preposterous are you going to the office or are you going to like sweat and tonic like to me it's just like a little bit too much but when you like style it with more fashion pieces like baggy denim a white t-shirt and this you guys it is literally the vibe and i absolutely love it so in the cooler spring months i will be wearing this oversized blazer if you are trying to get maybe like a prada or jill sander vibes i have a trick for you guys that if you guys look on grailed there is so much archive jill sander from like the 90s literally for like 38 dollars like the way like jill sander has no resale value which i actually find really funny because like when you go into the jill sander boutiques a coat will be like twelve thousand dollars i'm like i'll see this on grailed in two years for like 550 dollars thank you very much if you are looking for like oversized blazers i recommend prada and jill sander on grailed such your prices like this cost me a hundred dollars and it shipped all the way from ukraine a hundred dollars and i literally would rather die than like go to zara and buy like a like a blazer for 258 dollars when i can wear a prada one for a hundred dollars jill sander and prada they've just produced so much clothing over the years i swear they could like dress like an entire country if they needed to really cheap on grails so i recommend doing that but an oversized blazer is a must-have for spring and summer we're gonna get into essential footwear i love textured footwear so you are probably looking at you've you've clicked out of the video already i can tell this is my like freaking favorite footwear to wear so especially starting off with the marnie i just feel like adding a textured shoe is kind of that like copenhagen girly vibe and i absolutely love it like again it's me like wanting to troll people because i just like love trolling this marnie sandal looks so good when you wear it with like a suit like a very loose suit honestly people like stare at you but people love it like when i was in london last summer wearing this people were like oh my god your shoes are so good and i was like okay you guys got the vibe and then obviously i'm obsessed with sambas right now the wales bonner leopard little samba these are half size too small which really freaking annoys me because i can't wear them for like the whole day but i absolutely love these again leopard pony hair are you insane that is such a vibe like if i I'm wearing them with like the slim denim this and a white t-shirt that's it's a wrap like it literally is a wrap and it is such a vibe and i absolutely love it textured shoes you know brands like marnie jill sander also prada i feel like a lot of brands do kind of this like funky footwear that has like pony hair or suede i know the row just released a loafer with like oxford blood in like pony hair and is Stunning if you have the raw money. Unfortunately, I don't have the raw money unless it like goes on super sale That's a really beautiful loafer and yeah textured footwear suede I feel like it's also like a really nice texture suede loafer is like the Boston the Birkenstock Boston's You know, it just really adds that kind of deft to your look if you're just wearing like jeans and a t-shirt And for the last footwear would be a heeled boot. You guys have seen me in my shorts wearing these boots These are Celine and I absolutely absolutely am obsessed with these. I've actually managed to take really good care of these i think these are like three years old i even did the whole toppy here which i absolutely recommend doing like the toppy because your shoes will last you so much longer but yeah a heeled boot is a really nice way for going out for dinner or you're going to like a party that's not the club 
because I would never wear these to the club, they'll get destroyed. If you're a short king, not only does it add that height, it also elevates your look. So like, I'll totally pair my slim denim with these boots. And it's so chic, and then I'll wear like a blazer and like a t-shirt, and it's like such a vibe. The heeled boot is a really, really big essential. If you are a woman, you probably already have them. And I'm not talking about an ankle booty, I'm talking about like a, like a heeled boot. You know, there's like a difference, but if you're a guy or whatever, I, I don't know, I'm just gonna talk to you guys like you're like whatever, like to be honest, like you guys can discern what you are and I'm just telling you what the vibe is, okay? So this with like a boot cut denim is so good, like kind of that Western vibe, you know how like the summer everyone's gonna be doing the Western vibe. These with like boot cut denim, light wash, kind of vintage Levi's vibe, and then like a white t-shirt and a leather jacket. It's like a little one direction, but like if you just like style it in the correct way, you know. It looks really good. I just wanted to share with you guys my seven essential pieces to wear for the spring summer season. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like honestly, you probably already have this all in your wardrobe in like some sort of way. Let me know what you guys thought of today's video. What are you guys gonna be wearing for the spring and summer season? Actually, let me know because I'm always like wanting new inspiration. I didn't tell you guys to like and subscribe. If you haven't clicked out yet, like and subscribe please. And also follow my Instagram, which I probably put that at the start, sorry. It's my head, it's my like, I'm like, like, I'm like not doing okay. These allergies, so when I'm done, I'm gonna go take another allergy pill, I guess. But thank you so much for tuning in to my videos. Um, once again, I can't talk. I don't know what I'm saying. I have to end the video. Um, thank you so much, and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Peace.